Good morning everyone and uh, welcome to uh, The Big Shave with me Steve Farragher. I haven't been on for a while and there's been a couple of good reasons really uh, which we'll go into later. So what are we doing today? It's, um, it's a lovely sunny day in Liverpool for a change. We've had uh, some sort of indifferent weather. It's been quite cold and rainy. Uh, it's quite warm out. Um, some interesting stories to tell you, some good, some bad, some indifferent. Um, so let's just have a quick quick run through of uh, what we're doing. We're using the old Badger brush, lovely and soft bristles with the onyx and uh, brass handle, bought to me by one of my friends, using the old fashioned shaving mug with a bit of arco in it. So we'll just lather now, while I'm talking, I'll lather up. Um, and also, Still using the um, the Maker Future. Can't really fault this. I've been using it, and try I've been trying to find faults with it. Really, the only fault is it's probably too heavy, but the heaviness is part of the way it works. So I can understand why that is. I showed one someone this yesterday, and he, and he picked it up, and he thought, and he said it was incredibly, incredibly heavy. Um, so what's so good about it? Well, one. It's obviously the weight of it, and you know it. It's got a lot to do with the way it, it addresses the face. It seems to, it seems to know. It seems to naturally sort of fit to your face, and, and the weight makes makes it lie on your face. So you don't really have to put any, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to push. It just you know, like, like gravity takes its course. The other thing about it, just just notice, it's got these little holes at the bottom. So there's an escape route for the foam. So, so when this foam builds up, it comes out of these little things here. And, and the other main thing about it, which I think is brilliant, is this uh, this adjuster. You see, it's on set, set and three. I tend to use it on set and three. I use it on set and one if I'm using a really, doing a really quick shave, which I don't want to think about. And I use it on set and six when I'm getting rid of beard. So yesterday, I had a weekend's worth of growth. Um, started on a six, went to a three, and finished it off with a one. And uh, everything was fine, dandy. Um, so I'm doing another one. So reasons, several reasons why I've not been around really. Reason number one, I've changed jobs. So I told people about this a couple of weeks ago. Uh, with this new job, I'm uh, my fancy title is social enterprise manager. So I'm working for a local housing association in Liverpool, and I'm managing a team of people who are delivering uh, IT internet web web training to uh, communities and I'm sort of trying to sort something out. There's a bit of a mess left by the previous person. And I can't I can't go into details about that because it's uh, <coughs> it's personal. It's not personal, it's, it's what you call it. Whatever that word is, but you can't tell people. Remember. Anyway, um so I've had a week in that and, and you know I can talk a little bit about my personal experience I think I've sort of not, you know, working on me, working for myself for a while means uh, getting back into an organisational culture has been quite difficult for me. Um, you know, going in at a certain time, having to dress up, to dress code. Um, what you know, I, the thing that strikes me most is that that organisations like this, the you know, people spend a lot of time not working for maximum effort. So the team that you know I deal with, they're only working for like half the week, and the rest of the week they're in the office, and it's debatable really, you know, whether that's that's cost effective really. I, I you know, some of them private sector, from the from the what's, what's called the third sector, which is the sector that is a business but works in community. We you know we work regularly 50, 60 hours a week, but a lot less paid than some of these people are getting working 35 hours a week and doing you know considerably more work. So it was a bit frustrating the first couple of days, but I'm, I'm sort of getting my head around the culture now. It's not as it's not as daunting as it was. Um, and I'm only there for nine months. I've got a nine month contract. Could be there longer if I'm successful and they pay me enough money. But I'm working slightly slightly lower money than uh, than it should be really because it's only nine months. I'm trying to impress them. So if we impress them, and, you know, do you think I'm going to be worth it? I'm going to try and get more money off them. Don't tell them that. Okay. Uh, what else has happened? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I may have. Uh, oh, this is the big thing. This is the big horrible thing, really. Is uh, 
been in a, been in a relationship for 11 years with someone that I might as well failed. Um, this is a ma massive, massive, uh, massive shock really. The reasons why it's happening, it's a massive shock. And, you know, trying to cope with it. With the new job start has been quite difficult. Don't want your sympathy, don't want your sympathy. Just, uh, just don't let your girlfriend go on Facebook and look up old boyfriends. That's all I can say. If you start looking up old boyfriends, get a hammer out and smash the computer. Uh, even if it does seem like you, you know, you're a control freak. It's got, to, it's got to be much better than what's happened to me over the last three or four weeks. Uh, at some point in this, I might, I might go into the detail of this, but I, I can't at this at this point because it's too, it's too hurtful. Anyway, just to say that it's not, the relationship might not be completely over. There might be a little bit of life left in it, but I'm not a, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm just, it's not really my choice at the moment. It's, it's hers and the, the guy who's involved. Thank God it's a guy. Um, comments from people. I've had loads of comments, which is fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. And a lot of the comments are, I've followed what you've done and it's helped. It's helped shaving and, you know, I've not got razor burn and all this type of stuff, which is brilliant. I just love it. Um, <clears throat> regards to actually, to actually uh, getting more people to shave, I, I, if people know what a car boot sale is, then you know what I'm talking about. But in, in Britain, people, Every so often, get all this, they're all junk together and they take it to a field and they sell it. Usually for like 50 pence or a pound. And uh, I had this idea of taking some blades down, and some but, but, uh, some uh, shaving brushes, and trying to sell them as well as selling all my junks, which I did do. And I, and I tried something out. I, I, I asked everyone who sort of showed any interest whether they'd been taught how to shave or whether they'd just made it up as they go along and had problems. And <coughs> everyone, Everyone said that they'd had problems. No one had ever taught them, especially their dad. And uh, they'd always had problems, you know, they started off using one thing and then gone to an electric one and then and then uh, disposable, then five blades and all that sort of stuff. And so I think I've like tapped into a common experience for people, you know, that people do, would like to shave properly. So that's the cologne going on. Um, and I must have told about half a dozen people. I must have actually talked to people and then explained it to them. I think I'm actually putting the video, putting the, putting the shaving, putting these shaving videos on a DVD, if it's possible, I don't know whether it is. Uh, or maybe make a special one, which is more, more of an instructional thing. And sell it. So you buy the DVD and you'll also buy a razor and you buy a couple of blades and you buy a, you know, you buy a brush. And you buy some Arco soap, and um, so if anyone, you know, you think that's a good idea, tell me. I'm also still trying to get people to sponsor the, you know, this to come off. It's a minimum of ten pounds. I've only had one person put it for, but I, you know, we need a hundred really. Want to want to do like, you know, hundred times ten, which is a thousand pounds to a charity. So, you know, well, I'll have a think about the decent charity. So let me know. So that's that's the um, cologne. Okay, what else is happening in Britain? Uh, not much really, it's very quiet. Government's still sort of in, in disarray. You know, it's a, it's a um, government that's made up of several parties and it, it still don't know what they're up to. Uh, what else? Oh, well, that's enough really, I suppose, isn't it? So that's uh, Cologne. And then after shaving, then we finished. Now I've got to go and get ready and get, get off to work. So have a nice day. Uh, it's Tuesday, the 14th of June. And it's a big goodbye for me, Steve Farragher, in uh, Liverpool with the big shave. And uh, just carry on shaving, that's what I say.